All right, now let's do some factoring out. So remember, take this a step at a time. 25 and 30 both have a 5 in common, so I'm going to divide by 5. I also notice that they both have a negative, so I'm really going to divide out a negative 5. So now, negative 25 divided by 5 leaves me 5g left over. Negative 30 divided by negative 5 leaves me a positive 6 inside. And then I look again, there's no other numbers that come out, there's no variables that come out. So what's left over down here at the bottom, the 5g plus 6, that's what goes inside my parentheses. Everything I multiplied or divided out, sorry, here on the side is what gets multiplied here at the end. So negative 5 on the outside. And remember, you can always check yourself if you distributed this back in. It should give you that original question or the original problem. Okay, over here, 36 and 12. Start with your numbers. They're both divisible by 12. So 36 divided by 12 gives me 3x squared. 12 divided by 12 gives me 1x. Then I'm going to go to my next level, do it again. 3 and 1 don't have anything in common, but x and x squared both have an x in common. So I'm going to pull that out. There's 3 left over, and there were 2 x's. Now there's 1 left over because I took 1 away. Plus, there was an x here for the 1 x. It's gone, so now there's just the 1 left over. Again, what's down here at the bottom now is what goes inside. So 3 x plus 1 is inside my parentheses. And everything I pulled out is what goes outside, so 12 x is what goes outside of my parentheses. Okay, 12 and 16, let's see, they both have a 4 in common. So let's divide that out. 16 divided by 4 is 4ab plus 12 divided by 4 is 3b squared. There's no more numbers in common. There's not an A, but there is a B. They both have a B in them. So I'm going to pull a B out. When I take the B out of here, that goes away. Now we have 4A left over. Plus, when I take the B out of here, it's B squared. There's two of them. So there's going to be one B left over. Look again. There's nothing else these two have in common. So that's what goes inside. 4A plus 3B goes inside my parentheses. Everything out here goes outside, so 4b is outside of my parentheses. Okay, last one. Negative 40 and negative 15 both have a negative 5 in common. So let's pull that out. Negative 40 divided by negative 5 is positive 8y squared z plus, because I'm pulling that negative out, negative 15 divided by negative 5 leaves me positive 3, yz squared. Okay, next level, 3 and 8, there's nothing else in common. y squared and y, there's a y in common. So there were two y's here, now there's one left over. So 8yz plus, there was one y, so it's gone, it's just 3z squared left over. Okay, I'm going to go again. There's no y's left, now there's a z in common though. So I'm going to pull that out as well. When I take it out here, I've just got 8y left over, plus over here there were two z's, so I'm going to take one away. Now there's still 3z left over. Finally, there, there's nothing left in common, so 8y plus 3z goes inside. Outside is all of this. Negative 5yz goes outside.